Good morning, all of you. Today's session uh, is for class six. The topic is uh, related to rules to write electronic configuration. In the previous class, the first rule about the modular diagram we discussed. Now coming to the second rule, that is Hund's rule. Hund's rule again we classified into two types here. Hund's rule of the maximum multiplicity. and the Hund's rule of the stability. Coming to Hund's rule of the maximum multiplicity. Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. K describes the pairing of electron is possible after the half filling of available degenerate orbital. What is the definition of degenerate orbital? The orbital that can have same n value, same l value, and a same energy that represents n plus l value is same. Now, while taking an example with the atomic number 8, the element is oxygen. The electronic configuration is given as 1s2, 2s2, 2b, 4. The valence shell is here 2, nothing but by orbital method, second shell s orbital, second shell p orbital. P orbital again may classify into Px, Py, Pz. Now 2s orbital can have two electrons. One of the electron is clockwise, another electron is anti-clockwise. Now coming to 2p orbital. 2p orbital that can have four electrons. Nothing but first electron into Px, second electron into Py, third electron into Pz. Nothing but here after the half filling of major red orbitals. The pairing of electron is possible. That is, but fourth electron can enter into pH orbital. Now, similarly, the same way, the Hund's rule of stability. Half filled or full filled degenerate orbitals are highly stable. P orbital, degenerate orbitals, totally three. Each orbital, two electrons. Three into two, six electrons. Nothing but half filled P orbital is. P3, full field P orbital is a P6. D orbital, degenerate orbitals are totally 5. 5 to 2, 10 electrons, maximum capacity. Nothing but D orbital, 5 electrons as a half field, 10 electrons as a full field. These are highly stable according to Hund's rule of stability. Now coming to third rule, that is the Pauli's exclusion principle. The statement is given as no two electrons can have same set of four quantum numbers. Same set of four quantum numbers. If the electron is similar in case of principal quantum number, that is n value, azimuthal quantum number represented by L, magnetic quantum number represented by M. Then, the variation between the spinning of electron. The first electron may spin in a clockwise direction, second electron may spin in a anti-clockwise direction. Clockwise direction may get the positive half, may do nothing but clockwise, anti-clockwise. Then, S and L principal quantum number, L azimuthal quantum number, L magnetic quantum number, or the S represents spin quantum number. Now coming to the types of orbitals. Each orbital is in a 3D view. The orbitals can also be called as subshells. Subshells. The number of orbitals given by the expression L square. Now, n represents orbit number. For example, if n is 1, 1 square, that is equal to 1. I think for first shell can have only s orbital. If n equal to 2, 2 square. 2 square, I think for 4. 2s, 2px, 2py, 2bz. Now, the types of orbitals are here s orbital, p orbital, d orbital, f orbital. Now, s stands for here. Symmetrical 
and P stands for principle, D stands for a diffuse, and F represents fundamental. Now coming to the uh, shapes, shape of S metal is uh, spherical, shape of P metal is dumbbell, D metal shape is double dumbbell. Double dumbbell and F metal shape is fourfold double dumbbell or complex in shape or imaginary shape or imaginary shape. Now coming to the degenerate orbitals, yes, you can have only one degenerate orbital that is S itself. Yes, itself. Here we have totally three degenerate orbitals. Px, Py, Pz, and the D orbital totally five. The five different orbitals may again classify into two types. First set, second set. First set D of x y y z z x, and the second set of different orbitals of D. D of x square minus y square and the D z square. Coming to F orbital, it may have ten. Okay, the F orbital can have imaginary shape that can be represented by F of x y z. For example, F of x square y, x y square, F of y square z, y z square, F of z square x, z x square. Therefore, the total availability of degenerate orbitals of F totally. Seven degenerate orbitals. Now in this session, we discuss the rules to write the electronic conversion. Second rule, that is Boole's rule. Again, we class it into two types. And the third rule, Pauli's exclusion principle related to the quantum numbers and the types of orbitals along with their peculiar properties with respect to their classification. Thanks for watching.